y'all what's up my name is claire if this is your first time to my channel first off i want to apologize for my voice it's a little bit raspy um i'm at my internship and i've been talking all day every day i'm not sick at all like i don't feel bad my voice is just kind of going away but to kind of start um this is the look that we are doing today it's like a pink bronzy look and it's not something that's too pink too bronzy too much and extra um to wear out and about and i just think it's really gorgeous and especially like the face makeup the highlight all of it it just really turned out well um and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and begin with the video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and go ahead and subscribe i would love for you to join my fam on here on youtube and i'm sorry this video is kind of long we do kind of just talk and drag it out and just really create this really pretty look that we got so yeah, here we go. I took a shower and I haven't done anything to my face yet. Go ahead and moisturize together. That's super important before you even begin on your makeup routine. Every single time before I even film, I always uh, put moisturizer on. First thing I do in the morning, last thing I do at night. Um, and I have super oily skin. So just because you have oily skin doesn't mean like you can't moisturize and stuff. Because a lot of, I used to think that too. Because I was like, oh, my oil oil on my skin makes up for it. But what my favorite um, moisturizer ever is the Origins Ginseng Gel, Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. This stuff, it smells good. It leaves you hydrating. And I feel like anything that is more it's not even like really jelly it feels like a cream but it's not like creamy because like creamy products always make me break out and are just too thick on me and make me more oily and this is just like huh, it just feels so refreshing and it just feels like your skin is just drinking up all of that moisture and it just feels so nice and another product y'all have heard me talk about is the clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly this makes your face feel almost not wet but it's like a dry wet and it goes on like when it says dramatically different it's like a jelly but it doesn't feel like i don't know it's not like a runny jelly it's like it just soaks into the skin and just leaves you feeling and looking super hydrated so sometimes i'll only put one of those on and then sometimes when i'm just wanting to be super moisturized and dewy and stuff i'll put both on the third step that i do every day is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water so just give a good little spritz all over my face just to kind of get it prepped and primed and ready to go for the makeup. Well, we have all of those moisturizers on. That's not the primer. Um, that just kind of just gets your skin ready. And so for the first primer that I'm going to use today is the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox. It's just like a set and refresh spray. So I just like to take this and just kind of spray all around just to get your skin nice and ready and then another thing that i really love is the smashbox the original photo finish this stuff if you want your skin to like really get blurred out i'm not joking when i say as soon as i apply this and i'm just gonna apply a little bit in the t-zone area because that's where i have the most problems with like my makeup coming off and then it looking splotchy um but like instantly i can just feel it and see it in my mirror right now just blurring all of the pores and um areas of the skin around this area the areas of the skin around this area later today i am probably going to go to ulta or sephora because i really just want to try a new foundation but for now i'm going to go with what i know and this is like a perfect summer foundation it just stays on all day and i know this is like the new rave right now but i want you to know that i've been using this stuff for a very long time like before all of the makeup gurus online were like this is the best um so i don't want you to think that i'm going out and copying anybody i've just really been using this off and on for years it's the Too Faced born this way um foundation in pearl um, um, so I used to use vanilla and then before that I probably used vanilla too but I've bought like three different um, packages of this so I just squirted packages three different bottles of this so I just squirted a little bit put it on my hand because um, I don't really um, know all the science behind it but I know if you put you're supposed to like warm up your foundation before you go on your face so like skin to skin and then um, apply to kind of get it ready to you know warm up and just to where it'll soak in and i'm using a damp beauty sponge i literally watched jacqueline hill's video last night about how to make your makeup stay all day so i'm going to be taking tips from her which i mean honestly i've been taking tips from her from year for years and so i feel like we have a very similar makeup routine just because she's been like my biggest inspiration as far as how to apply makeup and stuff um i just feel like her tip like her skin always just looks so good okay so i went ahead and just blended all of that foundation out i did about a layer and a half so i did the full face and then i went back with a little bit and just kind of touched up in the areas like around my nose and forehead that i know it'll rub off the quickest and now i'm going to go in with concealer and i'm going to go in with the same concealer as the foundation the born this way um multi sculpting concealer and so 
Um, since today is going to be like a bright, fun look, I can't decide if I want to do pink or green. I don't know. Orange? I feel like I've stayed too close to like all of the orangey, bronzy, golden tones lately. I kind of want to branch out and do something more fun. Cause, but still something fun yet wearable. Because I don't feel like I do that at all anymore and like last summer that's all I did was like bright random stuff before I even really knew what I was doing blending all of this out and now that all of that concealer is nice and blended out all over um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it and like honestly I just can't find any other setting powder that I love more than this one right now I may try like once I at the end of my internship when I have a little bit of money I'm gonna be saving most of the money that I'm making um, because I still gotta get a big girl job so Please hire me if you're looking. Um, but anyway, the <laughs> setting powder that I'm going to be using is the same stuff that I've been using like for a long minute now. Um, it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's just so good. It's the only thing that I've ever really used that doesn't make me feel like cakey. It doesn't leave a flashback. It doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't mess anything up. It just does what it's supposed to do and I love that. And so we're just going to go ahead and press that in all on those concealer areas. I'm not putting a whole lot on my brush, but I mean on my sponge, I'm just kind of dabbing it where I will. And then I'm going to also take a little bit and kind of go all around the rest of the face. Not as much as I'm putting on the concealer, but kind of like what's ever left on the sponge after I go on the concealer. I'm just going to kind of tap it around because I have a long day ahead of me. I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but today's a treat myself day. Um, so I'm going to go to the mall, go get my nails done. Um get me some good food maybe later I don't know and so we got a long day ahead of us of me and I want all of this to stay locked in and I watched Jaclyn Hill's video again last night about how to make your makeup stay all day so I want to make sure everything is nice and set and this is another thing that I need to repurchase today at Ulta is the Morphe setting mist so we're gonna do a light little set just to kind of make sure everything's locked and loaded in before we go and do anything else and then honestly right now I kind of want to do my brows and get those over with because I just don't really enjoy doing my brows but I'm going to be using the Desi Perkins Benefit um just the brow pencil and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do that and then I'll be back okay so I just went ahead and did my brows and shaped them up and everything they're very dramatic but that's okay because today's going to be super like a glam look and so now we're going to go ahead and bronze and then um Bank. It's going to be a new thing that I'm going to start doing. Um, and so y'all are going to be on the process of with me learning how to bake. Um, but I'm going to go into the Butter Bronzer in the Casey Holmes palette. Um, this is our Physician's Formula. As y'all have seen me use on here a million times, it just smells good. It looks good. It is good. It's just great. So we're going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to go ahead and go all around the forehead. Make it look a little smaller. So I'm doing the sides of the nose, and then I'm going to kind of work it up a little, not too high, not too heavy, just to kind of give it that shape of the nose. We're going to go ahead and bake. Um, I'll be honest, if you've seen my channel before, you know I've never really been a huge, huge baker, but we're going to practice today because practice makes perfect. And again, this is going to be an all, all day thing that I'm doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the sides of the nose just to kind of shape it and bake it. So we're just kind of like stamping it. Now we have all of that bake on and we're just going to kind of let that sit for a little bit. Again, like I'm not a professional baker, but I really want to start because I want my makeup to start lasting longer. Like I do feel like I do have pretty good makeup techniques, but I want to get better every day because we're learning from each other on YouTube. And that's like why I do this because it's just kind of fun. I want to go ahead and go with the eyes and we're going to go ahead and go into the shade Princess. And this is in the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day palette. And you don't have to have this, just any kind of neutral shade will do. And I do have some concealer on my lid already from kind of when I was doing my brows. So there's a little bit of that on there. But we're just going to kind of shape it out. And again, I'm not 100% certain on where this look is going. But I'm ready to find out. So we're just going to kind of do a Yui. Just kind of shape out all into the crease. 
Okay, now I think I decided I want it to be like pinky bronzy, maybe with a dash of green. I don't know. I don't know where the green's coming from. Um, but I'm going to go into Candy Heart, which is this hot pink. I haven't used this, I don't think, since my Valentine's Day look I did. But this is the Morphe 3 M330 brush. And so I'm going to take this super lightly, like barely any, because I don't want to mess this up, you know, and I don't want to have pink in areas that we can't undo. So I'm just taking a little tiny, like dab into the pink pigment um and we're gonna work this into the crease and we're kind of kind of gonna kind of work it a little bit lower than that princess shade and we're gonna shape it out so this is turning into a u or like a halo type of vibe today i guess that's what's just happening i just want to make sure we start slow and then we'll decide as we keep going, how bold we want to go with it. Good job, Claire. Good job, girl. Just look at something real quick. This eye is the eye I just did first, right? And then I just start doing this eye. Why is this eye purple? What in the world? Did I don't know if I had something on this brush, but like, what in the world? Like, this is the color I want. And this, I, and the whole time I was like, why are you coming on so purple? Um, so. That's weird. Um, I think I'm about to take this off over here and start over just for this eye to make it look more pink. Because like what in the what in the world? And I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all of that bake. I just I don't wanna leave it on too long. So as you can see, look really bright. Okay, so I blended all of that out and I'm starting to think like maybe after it sets for a minute it turns a little bit more purple purple because now this one's looking darker than this one. So I'm just very confused in this moment in time right now. Um, but we're just going to roll with it and keep going. Um, and so I think I want to do like a halo eye almost and I think I want to incorporate some bronze into it. But to kind of deepen it up in the areas like on the sides, I'm going to go into the shade Admirer. I realize a lot of this has been out of this Kylie Valentine's palette, but that's not all I'm going to use. Um, and so we're going to take Admirer with the Morphe M321 brush. And let me zoom y'all in. Take that deep shade. And we're just going to kind of place that in the inner corner. Just the slightest bit. And then also on the outer edge. I'm just going to blend that into that pink shade. Just to kind of provide some deepness. Because this isn't going to be one of those looks that I want it to be like, oh, there's a girl with a hot pink eyeshadow coming in the room, you know? I want it to be like, oh, that's a really pretty work of art on her eyelids. And it's not to extra to wear on a date with yourself because that's what i'm doing today a date with myself and so as you can see i'm taking just a slight slight bit of product on um my brush to kind of just slowly deepen it because sometimes if you do it too too much product and too fast it'll just ruin everything and go on too harshly and we want it to be like a soft faded ombre effect almost so i kind of just cleaned that up and did that ombre type of effect and now the color that's really calling to me is a bronzy color i don't know what's calling me to it but um i'm gonna take my this little packing brush and spray it with that mario badescu spray just because i feel like when i go in with a shimmer it just works best to have a wet brush and then i am going to actually go into the shade bronzy in the kkw and mario palette this shade i haven't used in maybe ever maybe i've used it one time um and then i'm gonna kind of take this and fade it from that deep shade let me zoom y'all in oh, i'm just taking it and kind of blending it from the inner corner and then i'm going to take it from the outside and blend it to the not to the inner corner blending it from the inner corner to the middle and then bl blending it from the outside to the middle see what i'm saying I'm going to tap back into Admirer just to blend it on the outer edges just to make sure we don't lose that deep deepness on the outer corners. Because we don't want it to be too over overwhelmed with that bronze color. Okay, so I really am liking how this is turning out. It's very different. Um, but I'm going to go into the Morphe M507 brush. I'm going to spritz that and then... I don't know why something's calling me to the shade Romance in the Kylie palette. It's this purple. But as I've said on here before, these shimmers in her 
Valentine's palette are very like translucent. Is that the word I always struggle with? Like they're kind of like very thin. So I'm going to kind of apply that in the middle of the eye, which is very different than where I saw this look go in today. I thought this was going to be like a green and bronze smoky eye. Pack that purple color right in the center and kind of just fade it into bronzy. Oh, it's looking so good. Um, so it's very like, I don't know, it's not like a bright summer look, but it's like a pinky, it's a vibe. This is a vibe. Um, and then now I'm gonna take the Morphe M431 brush, spritz that real quick, and then I'm gonna go into the highlight shade, shade Heartthrob in this palette. I honestly could have probably done this whole look with just this palette. And um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pop that, pop that, plop, plop, pop that on the inner corner. Okay, so this is looking a little crusty. We're just gonna keep blending until it stops looking so crusty looking. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the brow bone a little bit, even though this is super kind of chunky. But I'm sorry for how long this video may be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and go ahead and line all my water lines with a black liner perversion by Urban Decay. And then I'm gonna put on some lashes. And I got these two new lashes in um, Sephora yesterday. So I got Mykonos which everybody kind of talks about these. And then I also got, um, these are Goddess, which these are really pretty too. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go in. I think I'm going to do Mykonos today and then do Goddess for a lighter look because this is kind of like a dramatic look. And so, yeah, I'm going to pop these on and hopefully it'll pull some stuff together and then we're going to finish the face. Wow, lashes are on. This is Mykonos again. Um, I think it looks really good, really dramatic, kind of pulls it all together. But now we're going to go ahead and speed up this process because I feel like I've been here all day. And I'm going to put on some blush. And this is by Sonia Kashuk in the shade Sunset. It's like a peachy blush, but I feel like it'll kind of go really nicely with the pink that we have on. It's not too light. It's not too you know, warm or anything. It's just kind of very peachy. Now I'm going to take my highlighting brush from Morphe, the M510. I'm going to spritz that and then we're going to go ahead and highlight. And I'm going to go into Santorini by Kylie Cosmetics. This is the most blinding shade that I own. It's so pretty and beaming and perfect for summer. Um, I mean, the name is Santorini, so it's very like beachy vibes. I mean, it's just beautiful. See, it's just so pretty. Like, look at this and then dead. This and then dead. And then also because I just feel like the inner quarter highlight is not as booming as I would like it to be, I'm going to go into Santorini and I'm just going to pop that on top of the inner corner highlight just to make it a little bit more bright. Now we're going to go ahead and set again. And then we're going to finish the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to take that hot pink candy heart shade and kind of, I don't want to say smoke it out, but you know, smoke it out. evens out the roundness of this look. It just kind of like pulls it all together and then I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara. For lipstick today, I'm gonna go and line my lips with the NYX um, Whipped Caviar Lip Liner and then I'm gonna fill it with the lipstick, the Kylie Cosmetics in Coco K because I feel like we need to do something kind of nude but I kind of want to keep it slightly in the pink tones but this is more of a nudie pink so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to take some more of that primer water, the Set and Refresh Spray. I'm going to spritz all that. And then I'm also going to set it with the Morphe Spray again. Okay, guys, so let's ignore the fact that my hair is, like, still wet from the shower I took. But this is the overall look that we ended up with. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, perfect for summer, but also, like, a different kind of glam. Like, it's not like a, oh, that's super pink, you can't wear that out. It's, like subtly pink and glam um which i really really love and so yeah let's zoom in so this is the final look i think it turned out really gorgeous and not even just the eye makeup but the skin as well looks good on um, the contour and all of that that good stuff so yeah this is the final look and um if you would please subscribe to my channel i post new videos two to three times a week and i would love to jo have you join um i have a lot of stuff planned for the summer and um because i'm really like taking a month off of everything to kind of just work on youtube and that's really exciting and so yeah um i would really appreciate to give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next see y'all in my next video and i hope you have a great day wherever you are. Bye. Mwah.